What's up, everybody? My name is Lihua, and welcome to the Superfina channel. I am a Hawaii variety content creator, host of podcasts across worlds, and I stream on twitch.tv slash Lihua Superfina. Today, we are reviewing Spirit Chronicles, and if you like anime reviews, don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell, so you can be notified on the next upload. And if you would like to support the channel, we got Patreon. Link to that is below. We are reviewing Spirit Chronicles Episode 7, bringing real to the Yagumo region. He is finally at his mother's homeland. He gets to the village because there's someone there who knows everyone. Her name was Madame Nuba, and it turns out that she is Real's grandma. Yeah, and yeah, Real's parents, their name is Zen and Ayame, and Madame Nuba says that I'm Zen's mother, therefore I'm your grandmother. It's like, whoa! And Real was talking about how he wanted to make grace for his parents, and his grandma said that she already made graves and she said that his parents left in secret because of certain circumstances and those who know the secret built graves and she can't tell real the secret and she said if he stays there long enough he may find out and so he stays in the village where she's in charge of he gets to know the locals he has a cousin named Ruri the cousin is his uh, uncle's daughter. So they're first cousins. And then he gets to know some other people around his age. There's this girl named Sayo, Riri's friend. And there's this boy named Shin, Sayo's older brother. Later on, there's this uh, tax examiner. He's there to check on the goods, the taxes, etc., etc. And then there's these other people from a different village. Uh, this dude, he's a huge butthead trying to go after... Rui and Sayo, he causes a little ruckus, but because he's like the son of the head of the other village, he has to stay there. They have to be civil or else some conflict is going to happen. You don't want conflict. Later on, he causes trouble. He goes after Rui and Sayo. At night, he tries to assault them and then Rio, he catches him and he beats him up like a lot. It's awesome. And then the tax examiner, investigator, I'll get his name eventually. He uh, apprehends Gom and his lackeys, his goons. And that was the end of the episode. Well, the end of the episode had Real looking like he's going to leave the village, which now leads to what I thought was interesting about the episode. Real, when he caught that Gom person trying to assault Rui and Sayo, it triggered him. It reminded him of when his mom got killed and he saw his mother's killer on Gon. And so he beat up Gon because of that. And man, Ryu was ruthless. This was a really good thing. It wasn't fancy, but it was real. There was blood splattering. You saw real punch Gon's face. The face got sunken in. It was amazing. You should not do that in real life, but it was amazing in this anime. Ryo, when he finally calmed down, he had this little confliction. Like there's Ryo and there's Haruto. And the anger that he felt was through Ryo. And he was kind of having like a self-reflection that he was saying he was getting closer to Haruto. But he is still real. He still has a revenge. And it sort of seems like he felt guilty for not going after his mom's killer. That he felt guilty for staying in his village. But he was staying in his village because one, his grandma's there. That's his family. And two, his grandma said if he stayed long enough, he would know the secret of his parents. Right? So he shouldn't feel guilty if he is feeling guilty. I do find it interesting that he sort of has that little separation between Ryo and Haruto. Normally in some isekais and such, they're like all mixed. It's like, okay, this is who I am now. This, <laughs> this mixture of souls or the souls are one. There's no difference. Haruto slash Ryo, he's got like that little separation. I'm wondering if there's a reason for that. Next thing I found interesting was Sayo's brother, Shin. So I totally thought that Shin was going to be another character like at the Royal Academy. That he was feeling some kind of way about Ryo because Ryo is the new kid in the village. All the girls are liking him. Ruri was 
giving him some special treatment. Sayo, who has a crush on Ryo, kept defending Ryo. And Ryo was just really good at everything. For a reason though. Ryo is good at everything because he's by himself. He has to learn how to do things on his own. He has to perfect all these skills and techniques because if he doesn't, he dies. You know, he was on that survival thing. So of course he's good at things because he worked hard on it so he would stay alive. So I totally thought that Shin, with jealousy, envy, feeling some kind of way, I thought he was going to scheme against Ryo and try to get Ryo chased out of the village. But no! No, no, no. They kind of combined forces. They had a common enemy. That jerk Gong who was trying to assault the girls. That was their common enemy. And I'm hoping that we'll see Shin again. That he'll be friends with Ryo. They'll be comrades and such. I was getting really suspicious of Shin. I was thinking I was ready for Shin to be a bad guy. But now I like him. Another character caught my interest. Saga Hayate. He is the tax examiner. He came to the village to collect at their goods and such. You know, tax examining because... Most villages, I believe, they don't give money for taxes. They give goods, produce, whatever they can to contribute to the country and such. And I believe it's food at the moment. So he is an examiner, a tax examiner. That means he's an official. That means he's from the kingdom, right? And I'm thinking, oh, is this like a little intro to the kingdom? Like, are we going to get to know this country, their monarchy, their system and such? I want to know about this place's culture because they're a lot nicer to Rio. A lot nicer. And this is Rio's homeland. Now, this village needs to give tributes to the nation. And whatever they have left over, they're going to sell it at the royal capital. Madan Yuba has asked Rio to be a guard for the transporting. And I believe the tax examiner is there in the village to collect the goods and bring it to the royal capital. I'm assuming that's what it is. Rio is going to be a guard, right? So he's going to go there. If everything I'm saying is correct, then we're going to see Saga Hayate more. I think this tax examiner is a lot more special than he's letting on. I mean, we saw him heal Gom and he has authority to ask request to make punishment on Gom, like he's supposed to be just a tax examiner unless all officials have this what is this it's this responsibility for crimes and whatnot i'm not too sure but i'm excited for future episodes speaking of future episodes we still need to find rio's mom's killer yes when we saw a flashback of the killer and such i feel like it was a lot more clear. You know what I mean? Like we saw the guy's face better. I'm wondering if they show this to us because we're going to see the killer soon. If we can just recognize him just from these flashbacks. I am I feel like the first flashback that we saw, the killer's face was kind of shadowed. It was more blackened. And now we saw more features like the eyes, a little wrinkles here and there, the shape of the face. The nose, the mouth, I think so. If you guys disagree, let me know in the comments below. This is giving me an impression that we're going to see this killer soon. And that's my review of Spirit Chronicles Episode 7. If there's anything that I missed or you guys wanted to talk about, let me know in the comments below. If you haven't seen the episode, what's your impression of it so far from this review? If you want to talk outside of YouTube, there's a Discord. Link is in the description. I also stream on twitch.tv slash Superfina. People who watch these videos like to stop by the stream. Outside of YouTube and Twitch, I host podcasts across worlds where we talk about anime, manga, and other things we're interested in. If you like podcasts like that, link to the podcast is in the description. We're available on all platforms. Other than that, my name is Lehua, and this is Baby Isaiah reviewing Spirit Chronicles Episode 7. Hope you guys like this video, and I'll see you on the next one. Laters. Huge thanks to my Patreons and channel members for making this video possible. If you also want to be part of the Superfina party, you can click over here or become a channel member. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the next video. And I do stream live on Twitch every Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Hope to see you guys there and I will see you on the next video. This bump.